what we got going on today. Well, we're going to check the garden because we haven't hadn't been out here in since Sunday, actually. Don't have to all that stuff. And, uh, just kind of see what's going on with it. Really hot. I've got to put some water on these. And I'm going to try to get out here in the morning. So it's cool. And plant them. Plants that need to be planted. This is what I planted. Didn't do well. One of those drip pans. Yeah, gotta catch this water so it ain't on the floor. These are growing something already. Yeah, this is a blueberry plant. It's actually got three different types of blueberries in it. It's got a pink lemonade, a sunshine blue, and it's got what is that one? Legacy blueberry. Legacy blueberry. And I've actually got a couple of blueberries off of it. I'm actually going to plant this in the chicken yard. And then the chickens can fertilize it. Okay. And they can eat the ones that drop to the ground. So it'll be like dual purpose. Okay. Yeah, it's real hot in here. 114 degrees. It got as hot as 120 and as low as 102 degrees. And that thing resets every 24 hours. It's, it's hot today. So that lets you know how hot it is. I got to bring water in here and put on my, um, on my citrus. Citrus trees. I actually have some tiny little key line, look. Oh yeah. See the little key line? Yeah. Hey there. Cool, hey. So I gotta bring some more water in here. But let's go see what we got going on in the garden. It looks like. What are these? These are called tomatillas. Okay. That's what they look like when you peel them back. You got a few of them that has dropped off. What kind of vegetable or fruit is that? I think, and don't quote me on this, but I think it's <laughs> in the tomato family. Well, I guess tomatilla, that makes sense. And, um,. As you can see the bug damage on it. Oh yeah. I actually put diatomaceous earth on it last week. It helped some. But uh, see? Oh yeah. And so we're gonna try them. Some over here too. Now and the bugs got to the, got to those, but they didn't bother the, these. See that one? Oh, yeah. yeah. This is actually, actually, um, let me back up. These are ground cherries. Okay, so these are ground cherries. These are tomatillas. 
which is similar. They're both similar, as okay. you can see. And they're different kind. They aren't mollies and some other ones that I had planted. Um, well, these are those eggplants. These are the eggplants that you see that the bugs got to them. They had really bad uh, flea beetles this year. So I'm actually going to pull this one. I don't think it's going to get any bigger. And I grew all of these from seed. And they just didn't do well. Um, as you can see, see the flea beetles? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And so what can you do about those? Well, um, if you spray neem oil directly on them, it'll kill them. But you have to see. You have to you have to get it on them. Um, and I put diatomaceous earth on here and that slowed them down. But you know, it's been a couple of days. And the water washed it off. The rain washed it off. So it's it's time to put new down. Look at the uh, watermelons. When these get tall enough, long enough, I'm going to train them up the fence. Okay. And grow the watermelons up the fence. Okay. That's the plan. Take these low. didn't do anything and I had I don't know probably ten, di ten different ones the frost got the first set that late May frost we had got the first set oh yeah that one two yeah. cold days and so I planted what was left and then the bugs got those these are beets. And they're starting to come up. And as you can see, this eggplant here. See how that one just shriveled up? Yeah. There's one here. Just take that off. I'm going to get one nail out of these. as you can tell but it's, it didn't grow because the bugs squash is still growing they had a lot of bug pressure this year too the bug pressure this year was just horrible oh. As you can see. Oh yeah. All on the leaves yeah. and everything. So again. And what are these? This is a probably a cabbage worm. So you look down in there and you can see the waste. See? Oh, yeah. And they get in there. See them right there? Oh. There he is. Yep. And they were doing fine. I had treated them with diatomaceous earth, which actually kills the worm as they eat it. Um, it messes with their digestive system. And it uh, kills them. But again, because of the rain, the rain washed it all off. And so I really got to get back out here on the next day. Probably do it tomorrow and redust everything. Okay. Only I'm gonna be able to save any of them. And those are these are all the brassicas. See, see all the wormholes. See, look. Mm -hmm. See the little culprit right there. 
and you can tell you can look and see their droppings see down in there oh yeah 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 so i'm gonna have to take off all these leaves and uh dust them down corn coming up in the midst of these uh, squashes. You can see it. Now, here's another. This is a squash bug. These are squash bug eggs. See that? Yeah. yeah. You scrape them off. Yeah, they usually lay them on the bottom of the leaves. I'm going to some more up there. Yeah. And they've got, they actually look almost like a stink bug. They got hard shells on them. Um, but neem oil. And we'll sometimes get rid of them too. Usually what I do is I just check the, check the. Oh, uh, that must be that bug. Do you see one? Yep. Yeah. Usually I just pick them off and squash them. I see him. And the way to get them to the top when they hide, see? Oh, yeah. That's a squash bug. They don't like water. Oh, so putting water on them. So if you water around the base, it drives them to the top and you can see them. what happens when you don't come out to the to the garden every day. Say look. I done cleaned off about six leaves. I had them on there. And I ain't checked half of them yet. Yeah, I'm gonna come back out here in the cool little day. damage yeah those pesky worms now last week they didn't look like that that's how fast they can that's move. how fast they they come and eat up everything look at that more strawberries again yeah now these brassicas I'm not too worried about because I'm gonna pick those now I'll show you another garden pest See if you can get your camera underneath of that leaf. Oh yeah, those, those are Japanese beetles. You see them? Yep. And we had a really bad case of them last year. See? And they were mating. Oh wow. They're not as bad this year as they were last year. Last year they were horrible. But they will decimate your plants too. Now, you spray neem oil right on these and they turn over and just give it up immediately. Neem oil. They are messing around with the strawberry plants. Let's see. Oh, started eating it up. Look at the damage. Okay. Right here. Oh wow. See that yeah, it's, down, it's in there? down in there. Having a field day. You see it? Yep. Yeah. So these are just some of the garden paths that we have to deal with. It didn't get really cold this winter, so we dealt with a lot of, a lot more pests. 
um, than usual. So, but I'll come back out probably tomorrow morning okay. and clean all of this up, dust it with some diatomaceous earth, and see if we can get rid of some of these little jokers so that we can have some harvest as well. <laughs> God bless y'all and have a good one.